the modern resort and the birthplace of Picasso. Let's learn more about sunny and hospitable Spain. The country is situated in the southwest of Europe, occupying most of the Iberian Peninsula, as well as the Canary and Balearic Islands, including such famous islands as Ibiza and Mallorca. The population is 46 million people. The main language here is Spanish, Castilian, but the country consists of 17 autonomous regions, each of which has its own culture and traditions. Many of them have their own language, for example, Basque, Catalan and others. 76% of the population live in cities, the largest of which are Barcelona, the cosmopolitan capital of Spain's Catalonia region. It's known for its art and architecture, where many locals can visit the beach right during the lunch break. A large number of ping pong tables around the city. At the end of the summer, fiestas take place almost every night. The fantastical Sagrada Familia church and other modernist landmarks designed by Antoni Gaudi dot the city. Madrid, the capital of Spain and one of the largest cities in Europe, where modern business centers, medieval architecture, wonderful nightlife and the largest outlets peacefully coexist in a city of elegant boulevards and expansive manicured parks such as the Buen Retiro. It's renowned for its rich repositories of European art. Valencia, the third largest city in Spain after Madrid and Barcelona, with around 800,000 inhabitants. It offers a more relaxed lifestyle. It's known for its city of arts and sciences, with futuristic structures including a planetarium, an oceanarium and an interactive museum. It's no secret that many people from northern European countries come to Spain for the excellent climate. The average annual number of sunny days exceeds 260. The swimming season lasts from June till October. Spain has countless number of beaches of all kinds, sandy, pebbly, rocky and even with volcanic black sand. Most are easily accessible. Excellent road infrastructure throughout the country. Maximum allowed speed on highways is 120 km an hour. Spaniards prefer small cars. They are easy to park and very economical. Seat is a Spanish automobile manufacturer, which is part of the Volkswagen Group. Number of motorcycles per 1000 people here is the biggest in all of Central Europe. Spain's economy is the 14th largest worldwide and the 5th largest in the European Union. It's based on metallurgy, shipbuilding, motor industry and agriculture. Spain is the world's third largest producer of wine and the world's first producer of olive oil and one of the leading producers of citrus fruits. In 2015, Spain was the world's fifth biggest producer of wind power. The biggest problem today, however, is unemployment. By the end of 2016, it was at 20 percent. The financial crisis also exacerbated the relationship between the central government and the autonomous regions of the country. For example, the residents of Catalonia want to secede because they believe that they pay too many taxes to the country's budget and what they get back in the form of subsidies for the development of the region is not enough. Yes, Catalonia today is the most developed region of Spain, which simply does not want to feed other regions. Spain is notorious for its bureaucracy. To get some kind of permission, you might have to visit many officials and collect tons of paper. But in the end, there's still going to be one paper missing. Over the past 30 years, the number of officials has grown from 700,000 to 3.2 million. 66% of Spaniards live in apartments. The average size of housing is 99 square meters. Property prices were rising from 1985 to 2008, allowing many to make fortunes on the Spanish real estate market. However, the bubble burst, and from 2008 to 2015, property prices fell by an average of 50%. Interestingly, only 40% of Spanish homes have direct gas lines, and the rest of Spain lives on gas cans delivered to their homes. For many retired Europeans, Spain is a paradise, where you can afford to buy a house on the coast and enjoy the weather and nature. Here you can hear people say, I work to live but not live to work. All institutions and shops don't like to stress too much, just like all Spaniards. On Sundays, almost all shops are closed except for the largest malls in big cities. In August, most of the Spaniards go on holiday, so many small shops and cafes are closed. 
The average salary is 1700 euros per month. The prices are 19% lower than the average for European Union, according to Eurostat. The Spaniards are friendly and cheerful people, but their main feature is that they are never in a hurry anywhere, both at work and in life. The car can stop in the middle of the road because the driver saw an acquaintance and they want to talk, and everyone calmly waits for them to finish. The saleswoman in the store can chat with her girlfriend on the phone, despite the line at the counter. It seems that for the Spaniards, the material side of life is less important than the opportunity to go see a football game, sit with a glass of wine in the company of friends, in general, enjoy life. Here they like holidays and they know how to party, so there are plenty of fiestas and carnivals. The health system of Spain is rightfully considered to be one of the best in the world and it takes the seventh place according to the World Health Organization, which takes into account both the availability to the public, technology and the professionalism of doctors. Average life expectancy is 83 years. Violent crime is quite rare. However, street crime and scams are a serious and worsening issue throughout the country, especially in Barcelona. Spain has the highest unemployment rate in the EU and is also a common landing point for many illegal immigrants and refugees escaping turmoil and violence in North Africa. Flimsy laws and clogged court system means that there is little deterrent against petty crime. Please beware of skimming devices on ADMs and pickpocketing. Tourism, of course, is very well developed. According to the World Tourism Organization, Spain ranks second in Europe in terms of the number of foreign tourists per year, second only to France, and third in the world. The country receives millions of tourists from all over the world, attracted by beaches and resorts, casino, discos and a variety of gastronomy. But it is worth noting that Spain is very different. For example, in Catalonia they banned bullfighting because of its cruelty. But in Catalonia you'll find a parade of giant figures or the erection of human towers. To see stereotypical Spain with bullfighting and flamenco dancers, you gotta visit Madrid. Of course there's plenty of nightlife in big cities and abundance of bars and discos. Tourism brought Spain's economy more than 77 billion euros in 2016. Besides the mainland, there's also a number of wonderful islands in Spain. Formentera makes for a popular day trip destination in the summertime. It's known for its clear waters and long stretches of beach backed by dunes and pine trees. Pastimes include snorkeling and sailing with equipment rentals and boat charters available. It's reachable by ferry from its more crowded, better known island neighbor, Ibiza. Ibiza is well known for the lively night time in Ibiza town and St. Angry, where many European nightclubs have summer outposts. Tenerife is the largest of Spain's Canary Islands of West Africa. It's dominated by Mount Taita, a dormant volcano that is Spain's tallest peak. Tenerife may be best known for its Carnival de Santa Cruz, a huge pre-land festival with parades, music, dancing and colorful costumes. Mallorca is one of Spain's Balearic Islands in the Mediterranean. It's known for its beach resorts, sheltered coves, limestone mountains and Roman and Moorish remains. Capital Palma has nightlife, the Moorish Almudaina Royal Palace and the 13th century Santa Maria Cathedral. Spanish cuisine is diverse and each region has its own dishes. Spaniards have a passion for food which consists largely of paella and tapas and is always swimming in garlic and olive oil. National dishes are jamón, smoked pork ham, paella, a traditional dish of rice which appeared in Valencia. Gazpacho is a cold tomato soup, among some famous drinks as sangria, dry red wine with ice and fruit. Tea is not so much popular because everyone drinks coffee. The advantages of Spain are also a variety of shops and, and markets, where it is quite inexpensive to buy fresh fruits, vegetables, wine, fish and quality meat products. Healthy way of life is popular here. You'll notice it the moment you get there. There are a lot of cyclists and joggers on the streets and the impression is that there are football fields everywhere. Football in Spain is not just love, it is worship. Famous football clubs Real Madrid and Barcelona, the idols of the nation and football fans around the world. Their matches attract hundreds of thousands of spectators. I hope you've enjoyed the video. 
Now I have a question to you. Why are all taxi in Barcelona black and yellow?